Hello everyone, welcome to GS Core. I am Rajwardhan Bordekar and today we are going to discuss about previous year questions from prelims examination related to science and technology under an initiative called prelims skilling through PYQs. The subject of discussion is science and technology and the theme is information and communication technology as well as nanotechnology latest developments because under this theme if you analyze previous year questions focus has remained on current or latest developments in these in these sectors so before we start discussion of previous year questions it is important to understand the importance of this theme what is the importance of the theme so this theme is important because there are questions that UPSC has asked from these two technologies in UPSC's uh, prelims examination, right? And that's why weightage is the most important factor to assess the importance of any theme. So under this theme, you can say that two to three questions are asked by UPSC almost every year, right? And in 2022's prelims examination, there were at least five questions from these two technologies, right? Four questions from ICT and one question from, from nanotechnology. And that's why the, uh, the theme is very important, right? So in order to understand the importance of ICT and nanotechnology, there are two important aspects that you need to focus on. So there are two aspects of this particular theme. Firstly, uh, the concepts and second is information, right? Now in the case of concepts, there can be both concepts, that means static concepts are also important as well as current related concepts are also important, right? And in the information, it is majorly current related information, fine. In ICT, focus should be on the concepts. Those concepts may be static or instead of saying static, it can be contemporary as well, right? It will not be very, uh, let's say current oriented, it would be contemporary, right? So that can be considered as static. And current is very latest, new developments. For example, what is generative AI? What is multimodal AI? Right, so those kind of concepts you should be very clear with. What is blockchain technology, right? So that is the current uh, related concepts. And then it is about information, right? For example, application of various technologies in different sectors, right? What is the application of generative AI? What are the threats that may be posed by deep fake, right? So all those kind of things we can say are information oriented and most or more often than not that information would be current oriented right so that is about these two aspects that are important for both ICT as well as nanotechnology you should be aware of the concepts and then you should possess current or latest information related to these two technologies so let us start with our discussion of previous year questions first question is uh, from it is from 2022's prelims examination with reference to web 3.0 with reference to web 3.0 consider the following statements right so question is related to web 3.0 have we started using web 3.0 no right we are still in web 2.0 wherein the data of users is still owned by big corporations right in web 1.0 it was only read only feature. We were only reading. We were not uploading uh, content. But today we can upload content, but that content is owned by the uh, by some companies only, some organizations only, right? But in Web 3.0, it would be decentralized ownership of data. And that's why the most important technology for Web 3.0 is, is blockchain technology. So here you should be aware of the concept what exactly is web 3.0, right? So we, we discussed about the concepts uh, are important in both static as well as current. So this is current related concept, right? So what, is, what are the statements? Statement first, web 3.0 technology enables people to control their own data, 
right? So that is an important feature of Web 3.0 and that's why first statement is a correct statement. Second, in Web 3.0 world, there can blockchain based social networks, right? So blockchain allows decentralized ownership of data and that's why blockchain's use would be there in Web 3.0. Right, second statement is also correct. Third, Web 3.0 is operated by users collectively rather than a corporation. Right, so this is also correct statement. There would be decentralized con consensus that would uh, that would govern the uh, Web 3.0. Right, Web 3.0 will not be governed by a few corporations. It would be governed by decentralized consensus. Right, there will be decentralized governance organizations which will carry out the uh, the operations related to web 3.0 and that's why third statement is also correct so all the all three statements are correct and that's why answer is d see here answer is not important idea is what uh, what should be your focus when you prepare for 2024 prelims examination so whichever technology is in news you should be clear with the conceptual clarity of that particular technology followed by its applications right if you are aware of these two you will be able to solve questions related to ict right so that is first question next with reference to software as a service consider the following statements right so software as a service is a service that is provided under cloud computing right under cloud computing uh, three types of services are provided platform as a service information uh, infrastructure as a service and software as a service so software as a service provides us with the access of let's say final versions of so software ready to use softwares we can use right first statement saas buyers can customize the user interface and can change data fields right so this is the most important feature that is provided by software as a service let's say uh, service providers right the uh, means it is earlier it was organizations who used to be uh, able to who used to uh, able to let's say customize their uh, softwares but these days it is even uh, individuals who can do that and that's why first statement is a correct statement second software as a service users can access their data through their mobile devices right so correct statement it is and cloud cloud services can be accessed based on mobile and that's why second statement is also correct third outlook hotmail and yahoo yahoo mail are forms of software as a service right so that is also a correct st statement because the apps of these are the final versions they are ready to use apps and that's why we can say that they are uh, they are examples of or forms of software as a service so all three statements are correct statements here and that's why answer is d again concept concept and its application is uh, will help you solve this particular question fine so that is about second question answer is d in this case next now this question was very simple which one of the following is the context in which the term qubit is mentioned now this is information based this is information based question and this information is related to current affairs so qubits we know that qubits are related to quantum computing right quantum bits they are quantum particles their properties are harnessed for computational purposes and that's why those quantum particles in the case of computing are called as quantum bits or qubits answer is d so this is information based question next now next question is consider the following statements so uh, this question is related to nanotechnology and here again concepts and in this case contemporary or let's say static concepts have been asked right first statement other than those made by humans nanoparticles do not exist in nature now if you are aware of the methods of synthesis of nanoparticles you could have solved this question right and uh, if you can eliminate this statement you will be very close to answer right 
so other than those made by humans nano particles do not exist in nature this statement is an incorrect statement because there is a method of synthesis called as bottom up approach and natural nano particles are developed are synthesized based on bottom up approach so there are natural particles present for example volcanic dust also has presence of nano particles soot particles are also of nano scale even viruses are of nano scale and that's why we can say that natural nano particles do exist first statement is correct uh, is incorrect statement so if it is incorrect obviously a and c would be incorrect so you just have to see for option number 2 second nano particles of some metallic oxides are used in the manufacturing of some cosmetics now this statement is a correct statement because there is titanium dioxide that is being used for the manufacturing of sunscreen lotions sunscreen that uh, is being applied to protect from let's say harsh sun rays uses nano particles of titanium dioxide and that's why second statement is a correct statement here it is about application of nanotechnology right so second statement is correct so if sta second statement is correct that means answer must be d but we'll read option uh, statement 3 nano particles of some commercial products which enter the environment are unsafe for humans right so that is also a correct statement why because nano particles have their properties because of their size and their size itself makes them very dangerous for human life because they because of their small size would remain suspended in air and we may in inhale them inside our body and they not only settle in our lungs they have a tendency to enter even in blood stream right so second and third statements are correct and that's why answer of this question is d right so this question is based on uh, the conceptual part which can be static in nature and then it also has a kind of application oriented uh, statements right so answer of this question is d 2 and 3 next now next question is related to communication short range devices or technologies so question is consider the following communication technologies and we are supposed to find out which of the above are considered short range devices or technologies right so short range devices or technologies use radio waves in order to let's say collect or uh, share data right data will be collected or shared based on radio waves and their range is 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 smaller it is not very large range right they at most can create local area network not beyond that fine so first is closed uh, closed circuit television cctv so obviously range of cctv is limited it is not very large long range and that's why it is a technology that has short range first is correct second radio frequency identification right so radio frequency identification came into news because of fast track and you must be aware when vehicle reaches toll booth then only toll will be collected and that clearly shows that rfid is a short range technology rfid is used in fast track third is wireless local area network wireless local area network that is nothing but wifi so wifi also has a short range if you go beyond the range of wifi it won't be able to provide you services and that's why all three are the short range technologies or devices and that's why answer is d 1 2 and 3 now this is based on this is based on information this question is based on information so answer of this question is d next question next now again this is pure information based question here question is consider the following and what we are supposed to find out which of the above are built on top of open source digital platform see you should be aware of the concept of open source digital platform right concept is is important here but beyond concept you also need to have information about which platforms are open source platforms right what are open source platform open source source platforms are uh, are those platforms that are built on such a computer code such a programmable code which would be available to the programmers 
and they can modify it they can uh, let's say uh, bug if bugs are there in that particular program they can uh, they can contribute and they can make sure that those bugs are taken care of right it also helps in the enhancement of the features of that particular open source right so it is available that code on which the application has been built is available for the programmers to modify and that is what is open source platform now this open source platform is used in all these applications right aragyo setu app covin app digilocker diksha all these are based on open source platform right so it is about concept and once you are aware of the concept the information that means where exactly that uh, that particular technology is used so in all these four cases they have used open source platform and that's why answer of this question is d 1 2 3 and 4 right next now next question is with reference to nano carbon nanotubes cnts cnts consider the following statements so this question is purely conceptual question right cnts are not new uh, new nano structures they are in use since many days right graphene which is a 2d uh, let's say 2d nano sheet when you roll it up you get carbon nanotubes right carbon nanotubes are cylindrical structure and they are 3d in shape and these carbon nanotubes given their uh, structure given their uh, various properties like good conductors of heat and electricity uh, let's say uh, potential potential application potential uh, structure for the delivery of various drugs to the targeted site potential structure for collection of various biomolecules for the analysis right so all these uh, applications all these features of cnts make them very important in number of applications and that's why it is purely conceptual question you should be aware of the concept related to cnts in order to solve this question first statement is they can be used as carrier of drugs and antigens in the human body so this is the most important application of nanotechnology in general and given the shape or given the structure of cnts they can be used for this particular application first statement is correct second they can be made into artificial blood capillaries for an injured part of human body right so this is also correct statement this is also correct statement because the cnts given their structure they can be made into uh, blood capillaries and they can be used to uh, let's say provide uh, blood to injured parts of human body right so second statement is also correct third they can be used in biochemical sensors so in biochemical sensors we can use cnts in order to collect uh, let's say various biochemicals and based on their collection we can even analyze those uh, biochemicals and that's why in biosensors it is possible biochemical sensors it is possible to use cnts fourth carbon nanotubes are biodegradable right so uh, this is also correct statement as they are made up of a kind of organic uh, substance they are biodegradable in nature so all four statements related to cnts carbon nanotubes are are correct statements and that's why answer of this question is d right so here you should be have should be aware of various nano structures and the concepts related to those nano structures fine that is about answer of this particular question so with this we can conclude that for information and communication technology as well as nano technology firstly basic understanding of the technology is important once you are aware of the basic understanding then you will be left with current developments related to those technologies where again the concept as well as as well as application of that technology becomes important right so conceptual clarity should be the focus uh, for ict and nanotechnology because once you have clarity about the concept of various technologies you will be able to apply that concept in order to solve questions even if you are not aware of a specific application of that particular technology right so that is the approach that you can follow thank you